I'm going to show you an exploit to duplicate items and money. All you need is a friend or a second account that you control on the same console. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step once you have two accounts that can set pawn quests. So let's begin. We're going to walk up to this. It's going to be a stone, any stone you want. I prefer the one in the main city. And we are going to examine set pawn quest. And I'm going to change this from Jasper. Let's change this to gold. So every time someone gives me a tarring arrow, I want to give them 10,000 gold. That is an amazingly easy quest. So we're going to go and we're going to leave the rift. And we are going to run up and we are going to save at the end. We're going to spend a night at the end. This is very important. So we talk. And let's go ahead and rest until morning and let this save occur. So now account one has that very easy, amazing quest, save. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to back out and we're gonna switch accounts. So I'm gonna switch my account to this one here. So when I switch the account, I'm gonna load into Dragon's Dogma 2. Now, if you want to say, let's say you're saying, well, I want to send money to my main account instead of a secondary account. Transfer whatever you want to your secondary account. Play the secondary account until you get to the point where you can set your own pawn quest and then just do this whole thing in reverse. It's very easy. So here we are. We're going to load from the last save for this one. So this is my secondary account. Now remember, I said a tarred arrow. Why did I say a tarred arrow specifically? Because if you go down here, this merchant right here will sell you tarred arrows. I might have bought them all on this day, but tarring arrows right here, he has 20 of them for 80 gold. So you're only spending 80 gold to get 10,000, or you're spending 80 gold to get whatever item stack. It's up to like 12 of gems and a bunch of other stuff has random stacks you can do. We're going to go and we're going to hop into this stone. Now, once we get in here, we're going to search for a pawn and do friends pawns because we've befriended both of our accounts on the platform. So here he is, the same pawn from before, and we are going to summon him. And he should show up. There he is. So that's the pawn from the other character. So I go to hail. And as you can see, I receive a tarring arrow with a reward of 10,000 gold. So we're going to hire. Him. And this is where the exploit comes into effect. So we can go, we can hail, give him an item, and I'm going to give him a single tarring arrow. So right now I just got 10,000 gold. That's easy. Well, now we're going to dismiss. We don't have to give him anything. Doesn't matter. You can do none of that. He's dismissed. Well, because he's your friend, you can go back, search for pawn, friends pawns, and, oh, that's not what we want. We can summon. And while he's walking away, he's already back. Go over here, and we say, I want to hire you, okay? And once you've hired him, you can give item. And I want to give him that tarring arrow, again. So now... I just got 20,000 gold. Dismiss. I'll do it one more time to show you. So basically what I'm doing is I am making items or money uh, spawn out of nowhere. So he's dismissed. I'll do it one more time here. And you, as I said, you can do this with friends or you can just go ahead and make a second account like I did here. The issue is, and I'll show it real quick, on your secondary account, this quest has to be completed before you can set a custom one. And for some reason, it won't let me complete this for my own account. I know other people have. So you're just going to have to, uh, if it bugs out, ask someone else to do it. Or wait until someone hires your pawn. So we're going to go ahead and hire him again. And don't worry about costs because it doesn't cost anything to hire your friend's pawns. So an RC cost. Here we go. Another tarring arrow. Deliver it. There we go. And 10,000 gold. Now, of course, you're not going to want to lose your money on that original account, right? You're not going to want to lose your money on this uh, account that's transferring. That wouldn't be good. So what you're going to do, I'll show you here, is I'm going to come out of here and leave the rift. And I'm going to save. 
So save and return to title screen. Save and continue doesn't matter. So we save. So now we need to reset the previous account so that it doesn't lose anything. So we're going to switch users back to that one. So now we're back to my main account. I'm going to load this up. Gonna take a second. And what we're gonna do is we're going to load the save at the end because that save was done before I lost anything, I spent anything. And when we load that save, Takes a second here. <laughs> when we load that save, we didn't lose our money. I don't remember if I showed the money to begin with, but we didn't lose our money. We didn't. We won't lose our items, and we can do. And as I said, all you have to do is have the account that you want to send from be able to set a pawn quest, like I showed in this one. That's all you have to do. And since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and show... Those, I don't believe I bought tarring arrows on this account yet for the day, so I'll go ahead and show you just how cheap they are and how readily available they are. So, what this would mean is I could come over here, come take a look. I can buy these tarring arrows for 1,600. That is 200,000 gold transfer. Or more if you're transferring items. The issue with transferring items is that you can get a stack of 99 and have to stop. Well, what you can also do is, well, you say, well, that's only 20 a day. Well, all you have to do is come over to a bench and spam that triangle button and spam until the second day. So here we go. It's night. Now it's morning. So what we can do at this point is we can go back to that vendor real quick. And when we go back to the vendor... I can now go here, buy, I can buy 10 more tarring arrows. And basically, we can keep doing that as much as we want and build up a stock to then go and perform this glitch, get a bunch of money, go rest on the benches, come back, buy more arrows, and repeat. So it is a way to infinitely farm items and gold and whatever else. There's definitely some limits to it. I have some ideas of items if I'm allowed to transfer which would give tons and tons and tons of money. I'm going to be testing that. But this is just the basis of it. Right now, I need to get my second account, my other pawn, to actually let me set a quest. Because right now, I'll show you real quick. I don't know why this is bugged. Um, I, I don't know. If I go to my friend's pawns, it doesn't even show up, actually. That's weird. Oh, no, he's already, he's already with me. So here he is. That is, his, that is my friend's pawn. If I go to... Um, if I dismiss him, I can show you. If I dismiss, give him that, whatever, none, let him on his way. So I dismiss him. If I go over here and search for friends' pawns and summon him, it's going to still show that wake stone challenge, even though you just saw me spend a night with him. I don't know why that's bugged. It shouldn't be an issue when someone else eventually hires him. You might not come across that issue with your secondary account. But as you can see here, I still have the pawn quest listed. If I hire him, it's supposed to be a day and night, right? So we're going to go ahead and I'll just show you the bug because it is something you might experience. And if I go out right now and I sit down, you'll notice I won't get that pop up for the wake stones, which if you want to know how to get infinite wake stones early on in the game, I do have another video I just put out showing how to farm those, which is pretty nice. But as you can see, I'm going through the day-night cycle. I'm not getting that wake stone pop-up, which means that this quest is not actually proccing. And I do not know why that is. So if you know, let me know in the comments. If you want, if you saw the number for that pawn, the code for it, if you want to hire him and then complete that quest for me to make my day easier, I would really appreciate it. So, obviously... Um, any exploit, this is going to screw up part of the game for you. Uh, it's going to ruin the ability, like, you know, slowly unlock weapons and stuff. And it, it could be a problem too with upgrade materials. Cause if you can get access to upgrade materials super fast, maybe it's a hard boss 
and you'd have to beat it 20 times to get the upgrade materials and instead you can do it once and then repeat this to get many of it. I mean, there's a lot of ways it can be abused. Um, so play play for fun, play your own way, uh, enjoy it. If you want other content, experience, infinitely farming bosses and whatever, check out my other videos.